these are, I think, some of the nicer slabs that we've cut out of this log right here. I mean, they're beautiful. What's up, guys? Today is a great day. Still got windows. Let's uh, kind of check them out. They're still doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. Right here's my little doorway to get in and out right now. But guys, check this out. Got this cedar here, as you could tell. Well, maybe you can't tell if you remember. It used to be really red, and now it's turning that more cedar brown color. But I wanted to give you kind of a little idea of what it would look like. Something of that nature up against the window. And, uh, you know, of course, it'll go all the way across or whatever. And I think it's going to look pretty awesome. And so uh, let me lay out a few, and I'll kind of give you a rundown of what I'm going to do if you're new here. So, of course, this isn't going to be exactly because these are small pieces and all cedar is different. You got different live edges and stuff. But it's going to be pretty much like that. Let me see if I can hold this. And then uh, it's going to be very hard here. So it's going to be something of that nature, but of course long planks all the way between, and then we're going to do chinking right here in the middle of all of them. So you're going to get live edge, it's going to look like a cabin, but you're going to get the cool cedar look and everything. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, all this chinking that's going to be in here, I'm not 100% sure what to use. And so if you guys know what I should use, please let me know. Some people do concrete, some people make their own mixes. Um, you know stuff of that nature so please 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 let me know what i can use for the uh, middle the chinking on it so i can kind of start preparing for that getting the materials i need that type of thing because we are uh gonna start milling up a whole bunch of lumber guys going to sawyer ridge farm let's go guys if you couldn't tell we're here at the Sawyer's house Sawyer Ridge Farm and uh, as you guys saw we were cutting up some uh, trees and whatnot guys this is out of one right here we got five very usable slabs 10 feet long I think yeah, yeah it was, we had to cut it the log was about 11 we had to cut it yeah so I mean this is perfect I my honest opinion was I thought we'd get two, maybe three usable oh, slabs out of this. Maybe. Oh yeah, for sure. So I am very excited for this. As you can tell, it's that purple color. Maybe not, I don't know. But um, we also had this slab over here, or I guess four by four beam, and uh, had this cut up last time. But um, they got some cool projects they're gonna work on. So we're just gonna keep milling this up, but I think a lot of the video of using the sawmill and all that, you guys are gonna show, aren't you? Yeah, we're gonna show a pretty decent amount of just actually running it, going through the logs, yeah. pulling them off and everything. Yeah, so uh, if you guys are interested in sawmills or anything of that nature, I mean, uh, please, please, please check out their videos because they're gonna be doing a lot of this. We uh, actually flipped the uh, engine around. Whoops, had it wrong the first time. <laughs> but uh, they found that out and then um, I think you guys are set now. Y'all gonna, 
You'll probably never see him again, huh? We won't ever see him. <laughs> I'll be out. I don't know. I'll probably need her help getting the log, so it's going to be a little bit hard for one person, so she'll probably be out here, too. Yeah, yeah and I see um, you got a cool little cup there, huh? Yes, I did. Sandra Ryder. One yep. of our subscribers made those for us. Yeah, yeah it's the same cup that uh, Jason uh, got. Same lady that made Jason's cup. Yeah, cup. so I thought that was pretty cool. We almost got the same thing. Mine's a little bit cooler, World War II, but Kinda whatever. Same theme yeah, it. that's World War II. Well, you okay, you got okay, you got the one thing, one thing. <laughs> but you got your what, three eleven or whatever it is? Oh, three eleven, yeah. That oh, was three eleven. My job in the Marine Corps. Yep. yep. He uh, he thinks he's cool, but <laughs> he's he's really not. But as you could tell, he's got a new job here. Yep. And uh, what do you guys think of the new bacon slabs that uh, we go on the house? Can't get that out of our head now. I know huh? I can't. Now every time I see it, he said that. Now every time I see it, it looks like bacon. Yeah. So if you guys have a cool name for my new tiny house that's covered in bacon, please let me know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna get back to work and uh, hopefully uh, get some more slabs cut. I don't know. We'll uh, see how it's going. Uh, what are we going for? Which one? I think we're gonna go try this one and we'll cut up the side. Oh, quarters yeah almost it's that's, almost uh, that's lumber yard too bro. yeah all right guys so we've been milling up and uh we got this last slab it's too thin to cut but it's a really cool piece it's about almost two inches mm -hmm. and uh these are i think some of the nicer slabs that we've cut out yeah. of this log right here i mean they're beautiful All right, guys, so I'm back home. I got some food um, cooking. I'm gonna make some macaroni, either macaroni and some tuna or macaroni and chili, mix it together. I'm not sure yet. And then I'm gonna get the hot tub going. I'm gonna hang out. I got my uh, Texas swim trunks on. But, guys, you guys have been waiting to figure out who won the video contest, the roast, the crocker roast, or roasting the crockers. So, let's get into that while I'm cooking. So, I can't even lie. My absolute favorite video. There was a lot of really, really good ones. 
This wasn't an easy choice, but I think the one that got me the most, made me laugh, and uh, really, really, I don't know, went into detail and put some effort into it and really went into all that, I think is Simple Life Reclaimed. They even cracked the egg, put it in their mouth, jumped in a kiddie pool, made fun of my uh, video that we did a long time ago, the uh, Dutch Made Me Do It video. They did an online dating video, which was funny. They put all this in there, so that is my favorite. I think it's funny. I'm going to put a link down in the description that you can check out. And uh, those guys are the ones that won. So Simple Life Reclaimed. I hope you guys you know, are super proud of yourself. I think you guys did an awesome job. I was very, very uh, pleased with how you did it. Put in the effort, you know, got in a tent, did the online dating video, you know, did all that stuff. It was hilarious. So you watching, please go over to their channel and subscribe to them. If I don't get smoked out here, they're gonna make fun of me about that. But uh, go over and subscribe to their channel and comment on the video and say, I can't believe you guys won, good job. I don't remember how many subscribers they have, but it's not too much. They're still new at this, they're still getting into it. And so hopefully this will push you guys to really, really, really get into the videos more, do some more stuff. I know they go live, I jump in their live chats often. So Simple Life Reclaimed, congratulations, you guys won. I thought your video was hilarious. All right guys, and then I let y'all pick the winner for uh, the second prize. I put it on the uh, Facebook uh, family group and a lot of you voted and the people who won that one was Sawyer Ridge Farm. But they're not gonna win. I'm not letting them win. Are you kidding me? Jacob and Alex, well, Alex is cool, but Jacob, uh uh I ain't letting Jacob win. Not even, nope, never, 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 not letting them win. So since, I, since I'm not gonna let Sawyer Ridge Farm win, sorry guys, but it's just the way it goes. Um, I had to go through the other ones, kind of tally votes, look at comments on YouTube and all that stuff, and I'm gonna say the second winner was general vlog video he did a really good job he had the nose ring and all that stuff he his was actually pretty dang funny he got a lot of views he got a lot of comments he got a lot of good feedback so that's the second prize winner so general vlog video congratulations man you did an awesome job i know you've been following for a little while i think you're doing a shed to house yourself and all that stuff so guys go check out general vlogs video i'm going to link it down in the description tell him congratulations on winning as well and so i will uh, ship out a little gift you know box bag basket whatever i'm gonna do you know put it in and uh i'm gonna send that out to you so i'll reach out to you as well so congratulations to simple life reclaimed and general vlog video for winning the roasting the crockers video challenge you guys did really good so guys please go over to those channels subscribe hit the notification bell and comment and say congratulations for winning you guys put in the work you did a good job congratulations all right, so I got the water boiling, and I did a little Dollar General run because that's what's close by. No Walmart or nothing. Got a little mac and cheese, a uh, can of chili with no beans, and a uh, can of beans. And then I'm going to wash it down with the root beer. So go ahead and uh, put the uh, noodles in here. I'm glad it's actually real cheese, not powder. I ain't into that powder stuff. I'll let that do its thing for a minute and then uh, drain the water, add the cheese, add the beans, add the chili, and good thing I live by myself because it might be stinky tonight. Alright, so the uh, noodles are done. Gotta pour this water out, drain it. It's just hot. Alright, now I'm add the cheese. And then the chili with no pop top. So I gotta figure that out. All right, got a knife, cut it open. Bandit, move. Guys. Oh, my God. 
Mom. I know, Roof. Get back, would you? Freaking kids never let you uh, just cook, huh? Now that I got this all in there, I don't know if the dog's barking it, but mix up my mac and cheese and my chili here. Yep, I know. It's gonna be pretty nasty. Coming out. But for now, going in, it's gonna be pretty good. But now, my can of beans. It's a lot of food for one man. Mixing the beans in there. All right, so as you can see, that's a nice little meal right there. That's a lot of food. That's an entire pot full of food. I can outcook Jared any day. So speaking of outcooking Jared any day, um, this meal wasn't that hard to do, and I feel like I already outcooked Jared. So he has a video contest going on right now of out cooking Jared Crocker the grill master so if you can cook better than this you could probably cook better than Jared so go check out his video I'll link it down below and enters contest this is not my official entry but I'm gonna whoop his butt in his own contest all right guys now that I ate I'm gonna go down to the river and hang out for a minute I'm get my hot tub a little bit later that's what I'm thinking and so uh who's excited to see the cedar going up in this house I know I am Hopefully very, very soon we'll start getting it up. I still need to go out to uh, the Sawyer's house and mill up even more. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the cooking. And I hope you guys enjoyed roasting the Crocker's videos and the two winners, General Vlog Video and Simple Life Reclaimed. So congratulations, guys. Thanks for watching all my videos and knowing enough about me to roast me so bad that it just makes people laugh. So, guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribing, hit the notification bell. Even if you hit the, the subscribe button and notification bell, please make sure you still are on all your favorite channels. For some reason, YouTube likes to uh, take you off of that. I don't know why, they just do. So, always go back and check to see if you're subscribed and hit the notification bell to all your favorite channels. It's the best way you can support them. So, see y'all guys on the next one. Coffee the Crockers. I am super excited to get some cedar on this house. And guys, I'll also be going live Friday, 7 p.m. So, feel free to join me on the live chat at 7 p.m. It's Friday, 7 p.m. See you guys there.